The views and opinions expressed in this content are that of a continuously evolving nature and are subject to change as humanity evolves into higher states of awareness. Hello everyone, just Lee again here. And uh, in this video I want to talk about uh, how to see what's real as opposed to what's not real and uh, use that knowledge to improve your life. Okay, and because uh, a lot of people are stuck in old paradigms and they kind of don't realise that they could improve the life Instead, they just stay in these old paradigms thinking that it's doing them good, but in reality, it's not doing them good at all, okay? Uh, a good example of this is uh, elderly people, okay? When I go out, sometimes I'll talk to old men who are in maybe the 70s, 80s, or 90s, okay? And a lot of these people are stuck in an old paradigm, and I see things like what they're wearing, okay? What they're doing in their life. And they kind of don't realise that there is things in the life they could be doing to improve the life based on reality. But instead, they're stuck in these old paradigms where they're not actually improving the life, and they they actually stuck on an evolutional on the evolutional scale. Okay, an example of this would be uh, a lot of old people walk around in clothes and shoes that are very very uncomfortable as opposed to what's available now in the shops, okay? So I'll, if I talk to old people, I'll kind of hint this to them, okay? Uh, for instance, if I talk to an elderly man, I was talking to one the other week who was uh, around about 90 year old, I think, um, and he was a very nice man, he was very intelligent, but he was stuck in this old paradigm, you see, because what he was wearing was uh, a very uncomfortable looking tight shirt uh, with a tie very tight around his neck, um, very uh, uncomfortable looking trousers and very very hard black shoes okay like the kind of shoes they used to wear in the 30s and the 40s and he was stuck on this old paradigm and I kind of hint this to people and I'll say well y you should go into a sports shop and have a look at the trainers you should maybe buy yourself some Nikes get yourself some tracksuit bottoms um, you should because this will be a lot comfortable a lot more comfortable it'll be like walking in slippers okay but when you see this type of thing to these people who are stuck in the old paradigm it kind of goes in one ear and out the other because they're just not ready to listen to this you see that they don't even understand that there is things out there that would improve the life and instead they choose to stay in this old paradigm uh, where the, the, they might be uncomfortable, but they don't even realise that there's better out there. They don't even realise they could evolve themselves to a better paradigm where things improve, you see. So they're all stuck in this old paradigm. Another good example of where people are stuck in these old paradigms is workplaces, okay? Because when I'm at work, what I see is a lot of people are not enjoying their job, okay? They hate being there. They're doing this for 8, 10, even 12 hours a day, some people, which is crazy. And they're doing this thing they don't like constantly. And they don't realise they can change their paradigm and look at reality and look what what is possible compared to what isn't. Because a lot of people are socially conditioned to work. Okay, they think that the money is going to bring them happiness, but in reality, money does not bring happiness. Okay, because a lot of these people are working so many hours, they don't even have time to enjoy the money. Okay, and think about it this way a lot of these people would walk past a homeless person on the street and think, Oh, I wouldn't like to be homeless. Okay, but when you really analyze reality and you see the reality of what's going on here, that homeless person is probably more happy than what they are working a 10, 11, 12 hour job every day, okay? Because think about it this way, the homeless person doesn't have to go and slave away with somebody on the back telling them what to do for 10 hours a day. They can literally sit there, uh, have a coffee, sit there with the dog, read a book. Yes, they might be cold sometimes, but in reality, they're not doing what they don't wanna do constantly, okay? And um, a lot of people are socially conditioned to go to work because they're, they're taught from an early age that money brings happiness, but it doesn't. They can actually go part-time if they wish. You can go part-time and you can downsize. Downsize your car, downsize your house, and go part-time and you'll find a lot of the times you'll be a lot happier than what you are working full-time.
So the consequences to people staying in these old paradigms is that we're actually putting a hold on our spiritual evolution because when we come out of these paradigms and we've got more time on ourselves and we treat ourselves a lot better based on reality, then the, the true creativity comes out and we start evolving in the correct way. So we start to create things and this helps other people. And of course, the more time you've got uh, for yourself, the more time you've got to help others and realize what's going on in reality, okay? And not just doing what other people tell you to do. Because when you do what other people tell you to do, that's what creates these paradigms in the first place. So a lot of these people who are stuck in these old paradigms are doing it because their parents did it or their friends did it. And they think that's just the normal way to do things. And along, along with their social conditioning and TV, uh, watching TV causes this as well, a lot of the world is still stuck in these old paradigms and what it's doing is putting a block on our evolution. And in this day and age, we need to come out of these paradigms in order to evolve in the correct way, okay, with creativity. We need to change the work environments for a start because work shouldn't be a bad place to go to. You shouldn't like dislike going to work, but a lot of people are disliking going to work. And uh, the reason they do this is because these greedy companies are trying to get as much work out of staff as possible with giving them as least pay as possible. And that's what causes this. So a lot of people are stuck in these old paradigms and being very unhappy in life just so somebody can become more rich than them. But when you kind of give up the idea that money makes you happy, then you can find happiness in other things and you'll have more time to yourself and you'll be able to do those true things that make you happy and make you more creative. And if everybody did this and everybody realized this, then the world would become a much better place. So, uh, so that's it for this video, guys. Please leave a comment on this one and uh, tell us your experiences about work and what you think would, would help people come out of these paradigms. And uh, thanks for listening to me today, guys. And I'll see you on the next video.